Hello guys, welcome to this video. This video is for all those people who are going to be having the major exams tomorrow, uh, the paper too. So this is just a quick video to help you guys revise so that you don't forget anything, uh, so that you don't basically forget anything for, for tomorrow's test because this is the new syllabus. So you have high chances of getting something that's new. So we're going to be going over the syllabus and I'll tell you all the stuff that you need to have look out for. Now with the trend of Cambridge this May, June is that they're really testing new stuff um, in these papers. So do expect to see new news type of stuff like files, like bubble sort, you know, something like that, linear search. You have high chances for those types of questions, SQL, to come into the exam because they have not been tested before. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over the syllabus right now. I'll go over all the points that you need to have a look at and... Um, go from there right okay so let's start off uh, i've gone straight away to the programming section of the syllabus i'll attach the link of the syllabus down in the description so again you can have a look at that right now okay so we start off with the first thing and this is just basic programming and algorithm design you need to understand what linear search is now what does linear search mean linear search uh, simply means you're you're finding a certain word out of an input that is what we mean by linear search then we go to bubble sort. This is quite new also, and there's never been a question on bubble sort. So you have high chances of bubble sort coming. Uh, and if you want to see what bubble sort is, you can go to the textbook. Okay, and I'll also put the link of the textbook down in the description. For any of these topics you don't understand, you have to go over bubble sort. Okay, so you need to cram the layout of a bubble sort. Now, what bubble sort does, it's simply coming from its word, it sorts out stuff. Okay, so you get data and it will sort it them out according to ascending or descending okay now there's only one type of structure that you need to know for IGCSC so you can check that out in the textbook down below if you have never had a look at bubble sort but I'm hoping you've had a look at bubble sort there's very high chances for bubble sort to come um, so read bubble sort read linear search you know possibility that it comes then we have totaling, counting, finding maximum, minimum. This is kind of basic programming. Uh, remember for totaling, you need to do total is first zero and then you have to keep totaling them, meaning you have to keep adding them up. For count, it's always count is first zero and then you keep doing count plus one, count plus one and that's called counting. So these are simple, you know, uh, programming aspects that you need to have a look at. The next one, everyone knows this, validation, verification. There's a lot of questions on past papers on these types of questions. So here they would ask you for maybe examples. You know, you need to know rain check, length check. Many times they will ask you for the definition of validation, definition of verification. What are these validation verification? Why do we do validations? Why, you know, why do we do all of that? And you need to cram all these examples of rain check, length check, type check. They can ask any of the different checks and, you know, you need to be prepared for that. Now, it, throughout this video, I will be only tackling the pseudocode part because that's what I would prefer you to use in the exam. However, if you have been learning Python and if you're going to use Python in tomorrow's exam, then go ahead and use Python. But I'm going to be explaining everything in terms of pseudocode. The last 15 mark question, if you have been taught in school to use Python, go ahead, use Python. Do not change last minute. You know, in school, if you're using Java, continue to use Java, okay? Now, usually what I would prefer is pseudocode because, you know, the 15 mark pseudocode, if you practice that pseudocode, then you can use it for even other parts of the paper. So that's just something to know about. OK, these are validation. Um, sorry, these are verifications. Uh, and then these are the data types that you also have to look at. And what I've noticed in the specimen papers, the Feb March papers, they're really testing you on data types. So they talk about normal data types, abnormal, extreme, boundary. You need to know examples so there could be a possibility in tomorrow's exam they give you uh, you know some values and you have to give an example of a normal data an example of abnormal now this video of course is not a tutorial video i just wanted to point out the topics you need to have a look at so maybe you can have a list right now while watching this video okay i have not covered this i've not covered this after this video go look at the textbook because that's the only resource that you have if not, look at some YouTube videos. Maybe there might be some YouTube videos in my channel. There's not a lot of new syllabus type of content. But, you know, over the years, I will, of course, upload. But for you, May June guys, the textbook is your best friend. Google 
he also knows quite a lot of information and of course the specimen papers and feb march papers is the only past papers you have so have a look at that so look at that um then we have of course the very uh, trace tables okay so within trace tables you need to know how to go over each of the trace table um and then of course have outputs user prompts and variables okay that's pretty simple i'm hoping that's also fine now there's also this question on identifying errors and correcting these errors also in feb march i believe it came uh, it also comes in the specimen papers so there's not a mu much you can prepare for this the key for this is to understand the question understand the algorithm and then it becomes very easy okay it becomes quite easy for this this is more of basic pseudocode you know in terms of scenarios pseudocode programming flowcharts all of that that is more of understanding into pseudocode now we come into programming we start off with data types as i told you they are testing this quite a lot so there's big chances for data types to come in tomorrow's exam it's as i said it's coming almost all specimens it's coming feb march data types very important now they don't hold a lot of marks but you know as many marks you can get the better right so that is that so you need to know everything integer real charge string boolean you need to give examples maybe what's an integer what's a real uh, there's nothing like float by the way for all those guys there's no float there's only a real a decimal is a real if the word if the you know data type cannot be written as a fraction uh, a fraction if it's written as a fraction it's a real okay a char is a single character an integer is a you know a real number a boolean is true or false a string is simply anything with quotation marks that could be so if there's a, a, a an number within quotation marks this becomes a string okay if some people really confuse this this is actually a string next things you need to go over is of course your loops very very important now this should already be in your brain the different types of loops we have three types of loops that you must memorize we have the for loop the while loops and the repeat until loops okay that's the different type loops here and of course we have the if and case loops these are the only five main loops you need to know okay so you will not expect anything any other loop that will come in tomorrow's exam these are only the five loops that you need to have a look at the if loop the case loop the for loop the while loop and also the repeat until loop so right now if you don't know how any of this works go to a video i've made a video on pseudocode where i quickly go over the structure of these loops if you don't want to go over the video maybe you have very limited time go over your notes look at the structure of how a for loop works why loop repeat loop this you cannot get wrong you need to get the structure perfectly okay so that's how you would do the loops also need to understand length in terms of what's the length the length of a string a substring uppercase lowercase first character now the reason they've told you this in the syllabus is many times in the paper they will ask you maybe you know this program is going to be finding the length or this program is going to find one letter and it's going to make it into uppercase so it's very important to understand what these definitions mean of course everyone knows the arithmetics uh, plus minus slash i'm hoping you already know of this mod div um, understand what mod div does uh, and then of course logical operators um, you do that now remember there's nothing like this so avoid doing that uh, in pseudocode okay so these are the only ones so not equals to is not this this is wrong not equals to is simply this so in your exam write that then we have the normal boolean operators and or and not this you will be using with your um, your if loops the case loops so on and so forth then you need to understand um, you know these are all the theory like what's library routines local global variables that came in feb march so don't miss out all these small stuff okay go over the syllabus look do you know what a local variable is do you know what a global variable is go over that do you know what parameters are parameters in a function you need to understand procedures and functions you can be asked in the exam write a procedure write a function you need to know how to know you need to know how to start a procedure you need to know how to start a, a function you need to know how to end a function you also need to know uh, the concept of nesting maybe this could ask you something on nesting it's a very simple concept but you need to understand that okay uh, and they also say candidates will not be uh, required to write more than three levels so the max levels is three after that you will not get more than three levels do know how to do this these are called um, shortcuts they call library routines if i write mod what is going to do if i write random what is going to do if it's round what it's going to do i think i've explained it in the feb march video go check that out if you want to do it now 
The next one is looking at variables, constant, arrays, right? These are very simple stuff. They can ask you, give me a variable, give me a suitable variable, give me a suitable constant, right? It comes from the names variables. They keep changing constant. It remains the same throughout the program. Arrays, we have two types of arrays only. We have 1D array, we have 2D array. Your 15 mark question, most likely they're gonna involve arrays, okay? That's probably one case or they could even the 15 mark question could also be a file question because we have not seen any question with files that could be a possibility but as we come to files uh yeah it's right here but i'll talk about files in just a minute so as i said with the arrays we have two types of arrays a 1d array the 2d arrays look at how you use each one of the arrays i explained it on a video just i uploaded like a few minutes back i explained how you go over these arrays what is a 1d array how do you use it what's a 2d array how do you declare these arrays have a look at that uh, how do you look at indexing? Indexing is very important for arrays. You need to understand how indexing works, how you can get an element from an array through indexing. Very important because your 15 mark question is going to rely on stuff like that. Now, file handling. There's never been a question on this, I believe, in any of the past papers. So high chance for this to come. High chance for this to come. Um, because you need to understand how to open, close a file, Again, textbook is your best friend. You need to know how to store a certain file, how to write a certain file, how to read a certain file. Remember, it's stuff like open file, then your file name for, let's say, read. Okay, for read. So you need to know how to open the file. You need to know how to close the file. Then we go to databases. It's going to come in tomorrow's exam. Do not be shocked if it doesn't come. SQL is also added new to the syllabus. It's going to come. It's very simple, actually, for SQL. There's only you know a little format you need to know about also look at the keywords for databases like some people forget that there's something called order by they can ask you order by they can ask you sum. they can ask you count these are all keywords within sql so have a look at that now within sql you have field records validations you have the different characters like date time character they're different from data types a bit and here is what you need to have a look at this is what i was talking about these are the keywords that you need to look at now in the previous past papers these ones came but these ones have never come so revise these ones big chance for this to come some count order by as i said throughout this video you will be tested on stuff that has not come before so please don't rely on past papers only you will get stuff that maybe you've never seen like stuff like this order by some count Again, I'm missing a bit of the information throughout the syllabus, so do read this properly on your own time. See if you know everything. You need to know what primary key is. Um, you don't need to, so you only need to know about primary keys. Um, you know how to identify primary keys. You need to know how to read an SQL script. Okay, so in the past papers, what I've seen is that they get an SQL, um, you know, script, and you're supposed to find the outputs of that SQL script. So that's quite very easy. They can ask you to write the SQL. Um, they can i think it's more of only um so you need to know how to read and complete the sqls okay so they can ask you to complete an sql understand an sql now with boolean logic very easy this has been uh, it used to be in a paper one i've made many videos but it must be under paper one because it used to be paper one this is very free marks so this is free marks there's um spend very little time onto this free marks this truth tables flow charts they're almost free marks okay I usually always love this and I always say logic gates are very easy. So remember truth table, how to make a truth table. I mean, if you are having a bit, you know, if you're weak at logic gates, then you can, I've made so many videos on logic gates, you can check that out, okay? So that marks the end of the syllabus guide. So quick recap of everything that I have talked about. Um, let me quickly tell you, focus on files, focus on bubble sort, Focus on linear search, linear search, focus on SQL, right? These are some new stuff that have not been tested a lot before. Um, so this stuff, have a look at. Then, of course, we have our normal stuff like logic gates, right? The normal 15 mark question. I've just uploaded a video on how to answer 15 marks. So go check that out. I quickly go over some of this stuff. Then go over arrays, of course, flow charts right go over this stuff go over the tr uh, truth tables trace tables right and yeah um, i think that's pretty much as much as i can do there will be quite a lot of pseudocode you know those types of examples where they give you a scenario maybe a five mark 
question on pseudocode you have to write that also there was a i didn't see it but there was structure diagram um, i don't know if i missed it on the syllabus but there was something on the diagrams where is it actually i don't know so it must be somewhere around here it was then the feb march paper now i'm not allowed to upload the feb march paper because it has copyright but you can i think there are links um, around you know on reddit and stuff where they actually are giving feb march so you can check that out you can find it i don't know where it is okay maybe i missed it somewhere i might have missed it somewhere right i'm talking about those but those are very easy they're simple structures right they use those structural charts where are they um see if i can try find it so there's chances of that to come because that's also new in the syllabus but most of that is actually um it's almost general knowledge okay i don't know where it is in the syllabus must be somewhere around here um trace table okay i don't know where it is yeah structure diagrams here it is so structure diagrams there are chances of structure diagrams to come with flowcharts you need to know how input output look you need to know what this symbol means you need to know how oops what this symbol means you need to know the decision symbol you know different dis, uh, symbols now this might be general knowledge but sometimes you can go to the exam and you know just you get a blackout so have a look at all of that so with that being said i think i've gone over all the main topics um i wish you all the best if you have any question in the comments below down um i will try my best to help you out so comment down below a question you have i'll, I'll try to help you out now with practice um do all the specimen papers do all the feb march papers that's only the uh, resource you have and max you can do is the textbook stuff um so yeah with that being said i think um i'm gonna wrap it up i want to save uh, i don't want to waste your time um so go revise go over all these topics that you have not had a look at and yeah i wish you the best stay calm in the exam um look at all the scenarios read the 15 mark question properly word by word don't miss any point because every point contains a mark it's 15 marks take your time i want you to take around 30 minutes for that 15 mark question and the rest of the paper theory go over the theories go over flow charts the truth tables logic gates if you get that that's free marks go over mainly i want you to focus what you've learned from this video i want you to go over stuff that's not been tested before it's been a trend Cambridge want to test new stuff. The paper won't be that hard because you are, you know, the first year doing the first syllabus. So don't worry about that and just give your best. Okay. So with that being said, um, thank you guys for watching this video and I wish you all the best for everyone who is doing the paper tomorrow. Uh, goodbye.